Now, folks, it is really special for us to be back here in Kerrville, Texas, covering today's total solar eclipse. Just last October, an annular solar eclipse passed right through this town. Now, for a location to be at the crossroads of these two incredible celestial events is rare. Let's take a look at how the community has been preparing in the lead up to this big day. Kerrville is the eclipse capital of the state of Texas. It is known as being the capital of the Texas Hill Country. It's the epitome of Texas. Ranches, deer, beautiful streams like the Guadalupe here. Carvel is very welcoming. It's a wonderful community. Tight-knit, small. It has about 25,000 people. Kerrville is blessed to be in that special square, the annular eclipse in 2023 and the total solar eclipse in 2024. We're talking about crossroads, you know. We get it twice. Two, two eclipses right here, right where I stand. Well, it's statistically extraordinary. We get two in less than six months. And everybody's excited about it. City Council, County Commissioners, everybody's working diligently to be able to provide safe opportunity for the influx of people. This will be the biggest event in the history of the city and that's why the city is preparing. We're preparing to make the event enjoyable for everybody who wants to see this tremendous natural phenomenon. I think that Kerrville has done an awesome job of preparing, you know, way in advance. It's getting that message out to people to make sure that they're taken care of personally, but then there's the science part of it. Letting them know what is an eclipse. And I'm just having a great time going out and talking to civic organizations and clubs and I can talk about eclipses. So this will be my fourth and fifth solar eclipses. I've seen total eclipse in Nebraska. I drove 1,200 miles for a little over two minutes and it was well worth it. And just couldn't believe the experience of the eclipse. I mean, it's still just, it, literally gives me goosebumps every time I talk about it. It's a visceral, emotional experience that is just, you have to, you have to experience it to understand. I thought I knew what it would be like, but I gasped at the sheer wonder. It's gonna be a, <gasps> you're gonna hear that intake of air and the awe. It was the most beautiful natural thing I've ever seen. So to have an eclipse basically in my backyard is just, I. It's indescribable. We're here now with Catherine Troach, a telescope operator with the Night Sky Network, who is giving us these high definition views of the sun that you see in your screen right now of the eclipse over Kerrville, Texas. Cat, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you so much for having me. And let's thank the weather for cooperating. Right, Finally, right. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Thanks, Kat. And so I'm looking at the, the telescope feed that we have, and we have first contact now here yes. in Kerrville. Yes. Okay, so for people who want to become an amateur astronomer, you know, what advice do you have? Where should they get started? The easiest way to get started is to look up Night Sky Network. Night Sky Network has over 400 astronomy clubs in the United States. You would just use our search function to plug in your city and find the club that's closest to you and if you don't have a club that's close to you you can use our coordinator tips to start your own astronomy club wow that okay. is awesome and you yeah. know what for folks if you want some more details on night uh, the night the night sky network <laughs> and other things on how to become an amateur astronomer you can visit go.nasa.gov slash night sky network now a fun fact about today's broadcast that i absolutely loved learning was that so many of our telescope views that you're going to be seeing today are from amateur amateur astronomers and so kat Great. again on this topic of you know sky gazing i heard that those in the path of totality might be able to witness more than just a total solar eclipse today. Could yes. you give us a sneak peek on what we could expect? Absolutely. So if we have clear skies in the path of totality, as it gets darker, you'll start to see two bright points of light. That would be Jupiter and Venus. Mm -hmm. And then as we get to totality, at totality, you'll be able to see the fainter planets, Saturn, Mercury, and Mars. Oh. And if you're lucky, you'll be able to catch Comet 12P. Oh, what wow. a crazy, like, a cosmic comet. alignment awesome. today, yeah. you know? <laughs> so, man. Great. So, for the amateur astronomers that actually want to view today's celestial event, what tips do you have for them? So, of course, you need to have solar protection, you need to have solar safe glasses, um, and you need to have solar filters for your telescopes, your binoculars, your cameras. But you can also use indirect viewing, like a pinhole projector box, or you can use a disco ball. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm U.S. Surgeon General Dr. Vivek Murthy. I'm thrilled to be joining you today as you gather to experience a truly awe-inspiring event, the last chance that we'll have to see a total solar eclipse in the contiguous United States for the next 20 years. 
The sun is a universal source of light and life. It contributes to our physical, mental, and emotional well-being, and it unites all of us. Today, no matter where you're watching from, whether it's along the path of totality or a partial solar eclipse, you are sharing the experience with millions across the nation. Oh my goodness, we're there. We're nearly there. Okay. Here we go. Wow, the crowd wow. is counting, counting down. down. Yes. Harvey, undo your flashlight. Oh, it's gorgeous! We did it! Woo! <laughs> there is not a cloud up there. Not a cloud. Oh my word! Oh, we've been praying for this, and it's just perfect. Look at the sky over there, and the beautiful clouds. Oh, it's so pretty. Like the sun just went down. It's like 8:30. What is it? Y'all tell me about it, Sam. I'm saying it feels like it, like it's 8:30 or something. It genuinely feels like nighttime. There it is again. Well, it was worth getting up at the crack of dawn. <laughs> yeah. it was Wow. Jupiter. Complete totality. I see Jupiter. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Wow, this is amazing, Bob. Wow, that is huge. So we have some prominences. I think we want to go look through the yeah, scope. Yeah, go, go through it. Look through the scope. I'm going to walk over with you as you talk through the scope. We are right here at one of the telescopes that we have positioned here. Bob is wow. looking through with the naked eye. And so going to give us some feedback on that. We maybe a, on, maybe yeah. some prominence as we're seeing. We What's amazing is how dark it. it is compared to 2017. Much darker. A lot more astronomical features. We have seen Jupiter, and I believe what planet? What what planet is that, Bob? That's Venus to the right. To the right. That's I the Venus. Can't quite see Mercury. I think it's obscured by those light clouds. Yeah, up light there. clouds. But 360 degree sunset around us. <laughs> this is amazing. It's going to get darker. <laughs> it's going to get darker. It's going to get darker. Wow, yeah, this not, is already pretty are, dark. We are not in the middle of the shadow quite yet. Wow. Did you see it? Yeah. Timer started. Okay, 2:46 to go. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. So we're getting some live data from the team here. I tell you, it's really impressive, Bob, because... Oh, my gosh, oh, it's getting better. That, that, see that prominence at the yes, bottom I, at of Yes, at the it? bottom, there's a prominence. I see it. Wow. I keep looking I for can't Mercury, believe the so clarity. That It's so it's, much darker than 2017. It's gorgeous. And what's awesome, we have six telescopes running back here, that's capturing awesome. data, streaming this. And, well, and that's a big, important part here. This is not just capturing image to share with people uh, watching the show, you are actually capturing scientific data that can be used by scientists everywhere. We are, and we've seen totality across North America so far in Mazatlan. Now we're experiencing it ourselves, and we'll experience it after this <laughs> on the Jumbotron <laughs> from like, the other dev sites. It's like the most amazing eclipse train you could ever ride on. Wow. This is a bit better than 2017. Uh, I, I, without a <laughs> doubt. Without a doubt. No, no cloud. And you know what's interesting is the, cl the, the crowd is quieting down there. It seemed to be experiencing the moment, taking yeah. it all in. A really special oh. moment here. Look at this. So we must be getting close to the center. Where are we at? Two minutes. So one minute, 30 seconds. The corona is looking brighter because yes. our eyes are adjusting now. I mean, that is amazing, Bob. And, and how much corona you see. I mean, like a just lot. last time That's I didn't like see that much. Visually. Oh, there goes a bat. Uh, <laughs> flying over the crowd. Oh yeah, we talked about the animals. Now, now yep. we see them becoming active. We found a, a luna moth earlier as wow. well. But wow. that corona is about four times the diameter of the sun. That is massive. That is amazing, Bob. And 
I'm really curious One about that prominent okay. prominence at the bottom. Have you looked yet, Blair? You no, have to I look. Haven't. I haven't looked. So but. take a look. So Blair's looking through the scope now. Oh my at goodness! That totality. Oh no, that one right, right at the bottom is significant, Bob. It looks like a, a, a coronal mass ejection, but uh, don't, don't fact check me on that because I'm just a novice. But there's actually two on the Bob. You got to look at that. Yeah. There's two. Look, 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 look at the. Thirty seconds. William. Thirty seconds left in totality. Uh, jump in there. <laughs> Take a look. It's great because uh, we have oh, telescopes out here for people to look at and actually see oh, total you can eclipse see more through corona. it. And uh, we're getting close. I don't know what you Time. guys are seeing on the on television. But Ten seconds. We got to cut it off. Okay. All right. Here we go. Ten seconds before we need one. to put our glasses back on. Okay. Oh, sorry. You're good. You're good. Uh, we put the cap back on the telescope to make sure nobody looks. What an amazing too event, late. Bob. There's there a go. diamond ring. There's nice. a second one. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. And we Oh my gosh, there's that bright diamond here. ring. Here. All right. Oh, wow, look at that. Did Did I can see the Yes. Oh my gosh. I can actually visualize the corona. I've Whoa. always wanted to see that. Wow. wow. Look at that. Fantastic. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Oh that my gosh. Absolutely an incredible amazing. sight and dark. <laughs> Wow. wow, look at how dark it is. Oh my Whoa. gosh. And you can really see those streamers coming out right now. I'm seeing some bright, bright lights around where we're seeing it cratering and I can see those streamers coming out of the corona. And are those Bailey's beads? Are we seeing any we're Bailey's seeing, beads? We were seeing some Bailey's beads. They're transitioning out a little bit. But yes, those bright light where the sunlight is shining through craters on the moon, mountains wow. and craters. And look at those streamers of the corona. Cool. Actually, we have the International Space Station flying over right now. So they are actually seeing not one, but two views of the eclipse. They're able to see not just the moon passing in front of the sun, but they're also able to see the shadow of the moon passing over Earth, which is absolutely incredible. I mean, I can hardly imagine a view being better than the one we have right now. But if there is one, well, it's, it's, yeah. It's probably on the space station. It's from yeah. the space station for sure. <laughs> so, mm, I don't know. I have to be a little bit biased. We did have some cloud cover here, we did. but to see it with your real eyes was just... And we had that moment, which was... We important. did, yes. Right. Oh, it was amazing. And so it's really cool, too, just to think about how millions of us now have this shared moment of what could be a once-in-a-lifetime event. It's true. It's been phenomenal. We've lucked out in general with the weather all of today, too. That was the biggest concern I had going into the day here. It's been beautiful views up and down here, and so really fantastic to see this. Really been a lot of fun tracking this with our Eclipse Explorer. A big thanks again to our scientific visualization studio for putting this tool together. But for